Two dismayed United States lawmakers have penned a letter to Tesla CEO Elon Musk questioning the company's recent opening of a showroom in Xinjiang region of China. In early January, Tesla opened a showroom in Xinjiang, a controversial region of China that is often under intense scrutiny due to its human rights abuses. The area is currently the holding location of Uyghur Muslims, who are being held due to potential extremist and separatist ideas, according to the Council on Foreign Relations. But before we tell you all the details of this fuss surrounding Tesla and Elon Musk, we want to welcome you to the world of Tesla. If you're interested in topics like Tesla, SpaceX, or Elon Musk, you are at the right place. So keep watching the video and don't forget to land your finger on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will be notified each time we have some new content for you. Tesla receives strong criticism after opening showroom in Xinjiang and enters political hornet's nest. Car company Tesla is under fire in the United States for opening a showroom in the Chinese region of Xinjiang, where the US government says a genocide is taking place. Secretary Pompeo designated the Chinese Communist Party as having engaged in genocide regarding the Uyghur Muslim population. Do you agree with that designation? That would be my judgment as well. You do agree? Yes. For Tesla, the store in Xinjiang is a way to stay on good terms with China. Tesla announced on December 31 the opening of its first retail outlet in Urumqi, the provincial capital of Xinjiang. Photos of an opening ceremony and slogans about Xinjiang's launch on an electric journey appeared on Weibo, China's Twitter. Tesla also announced the construction of charging stations in Xinjiang and a silk route of charging stations between Xi'an and Urumqi. The news was met with strong criticism in the US. Republican Senator Marco Rubio tweeted that Tesla was helping the Chinese Communist Party cover up genocide and slave labor. These are crazy things. Things that we've read about that used to happen thousands of years ago or things that happen under these regimes in a science fiction novel. Civil rights group Council on American Islamic Relations accused Tesla of economic support for genocide. Similar criticism came from the lobby group Alliance for American Manufacturing. The Chinese government is pursuing a controversial policy of forced assimilation and extrajudicial detentions in Xinjiang. According to research cited as credible by the United Nations, up to one million members of the Uyghur Muslim minority were detained in re-education camps. There's also evidence of structural forced labor and forced sterilization. Beijing refutes all accusations, calling the re-education camps training centers for disadvantaged populations. The extrajudicial detentions are presented as legitimate means in a fight against Islamic terrorism. With the showroom in Xinjiang, American automaker Tesla is entering a political hornet's nest. The US, embroiled in an economic and political power struggle with China, has issued numerous sanctions in response to the situation in Xinjiang. Recently, President Joe Biden announced a diplomatic boycott of the Winter Olympics and approved an import ban on products from Xinjiang unless they are shown to be free of forced labor. Sir, do you support a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Olympics? Something we're considering. With its showroom in Xinjiang, Tesla seems to consider an image boost in China more important than a possible negative impact in the West. In 2018, the world leader in electric cars was welcomed into China with great esteem. Tesla became the first car company ever to be allowed to operate in China without a local joint venture partner. In less than a year, a Tesla Gigafactory was built in Shanghai, courtesy of expedited procedures and cheap loans. For Elon Musk's company, China is invaluable. Of the 930,000 cars the company delivered in 2021, half rolled off the assembly line in Shanghai, according to Credit Suisse estimates. Production costs in China are 65% lower than in the US. Tesla sells nearly a third of its cars in China and anticipates that the country will overtake the US 
as its main sales market. At the same time, Tesla is facing difficulties in China. The company recently had to recall 200,000 cars because of technical failures, and some military housing complexes issued a parking ban for Tesla cars because the cameras could be used for spying. The negative publicity possibly signals a change in attitude in Beijing, which also sees Tesla as a means of taking Chinese electric vehicle makers to the next level. With a showroom in Xinjiang, Tesla is trying to stay in Beijing's favor. Other automakers, including General Motors, Volkswagen, and Toyota, also have outlets in Xinjiang, operated by their Chinese joint venture partners. Volkswagen also has a production plant in Urumqi, which has been widely criticized in Germany. Volkswagen says there's no forced labor in its production chain. Now, Bill Pascrell Jr., a Democrat from New Jersey's 9th District, and Earl Blumenauer, Democrat from Oregon's 3rd District, have written a letter to Musk calling the company's decision to open a showroom misguided. Additionally, Pascrell Jr. and Blumenauer have asked Musk questions regarding Tesla's future in China. We are dismayed that Tesla has reportedly opened a showroom in the province that is at the heart of China's Uyghur detainment camps and forced labor in factories, Pascrell Jr. and Blumenauer wrote. As the Chinese Communist Party commits genocide against the Uyghur peoples and ramps up its hostility towards America and our allies, your misguided expansion into the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region sets a poor example and further empowers the CCP at a fraught moment. The letter that the lawyer sent to Elon Musk can be found on the internet. However, there has been no response yet from Musk himself. Presumably, despite all the fuss, the company will simply continue to cooperate with China because it is Tesla's largest source of revenue. And I'm very confident that the future in China is going to be great. While at least 50 companies in the Fortune 500 have operations in the Xinjiang region, Tesla's most recent expansion into the area has caused plenty of uprise from politicians. Tesla has not issued a formal statement regarding its showroom in Xinjiang. In December, President Biden signed the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act, which bans imports from the Xinjiang region unless companies can prove that their products were not made with forced labor. Whether Tesla is guilty of the rumors that are circulating, well, that's not yet clear. We do not expect Tesla to go along with this, as it could be a huge blow to the company. We will have to wait and see what Tesla has to say about this. Hopefully, Tesla will give information about this incomprehensible decision soon. Having said that, this is the end of the video. Are you interested in more content about Tesla, SpaceX, or Elon Musk? Then you've come to the right place. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, leave this video a like, and comment. Thanks for watching the world of Tesla. See you next time.